Hello everyone, we are group 55. My name is Ken. Here are my team members. Hi, I'm Polly. Hi, I'm Fiona. Hi, I'm Shalinda. We are here to present a knowledge management strategy for OHA Hockey Club. The Old Hopadian Association Hockey Club is the largest hockey club in Tasmania State, which was established in 1919. It's about 450 club members in total, included 12 senior teams, 10 junior teams, and around 20 committees in the society. They are family-based and driven by volunteers. It is great for the non-profit community, which can minimize the club expense and hire any volunteer anytime. But the most challenging part for them is volunteer retention, because they do not work for a salary. In the volunteer-driven association, they need to ensure all the committees feel supported and opportunities provided. They need to feel important with their duty to keep their satisfaction and retention. They respect people and their commitment. However, with more than 100 year history association, they are lacking organization culture. Members' connections are based on informal or separate ways so that the data and knowledge are scattered everywhere and hard to retrieve. From the interview, we identify that OHA mainly has two types of knowledge, explicit knowledge and tacit knowledge. Also, we categorize the data into shareable and unshareable data. From our understanding, membership lists and financial details are only kept to a small group of committees such as CFO, secretary, and president. So we would consider these types of information not for sharing. In order to collect and make the best use of all the club information assets, we draw a figure to make sense of different knowledge. Given that the figure can greatly help the organization to identify the significant information and knowledge that should be captured. Let's take the magic quantum figure as an example. In the knowledge management practice, we mostly focus on shareable knowledge assets in both explicit and tacit form. We will leave the unshareable one behind because, as I previously mentioned, those information are meant to be kept to specific individuals in OHA. After we identify this knowledge, how are we going to keep it, use it, and make the benefit of it are the utmost priority for OHA? Now let's look at what tools OHA members are using for communication and information sharing. They are using some random apps such as Facebook and WhatsApp to share the club's information and knowledge. The pros of using social networking apps to communicate is that everyone has access to it and people can spark new ideas via casual chatting. The fundamental problems with random free communication tools is that OHA members can ignore the important information that they are actually sharing and can hardly find the needed information instantly. Without a centralized platform to store this knowledge, it can be hard for committees to retrieve or even identify the existence of data. Not building an information culture within the club can greatly lower the effectiveness of communication flow, decrease information sharing and organizational learning. Thank you, Dolly. Now let's discuss some of the problems. First, OHA got a decentralized system where documents and records are stored in personal computers of members. No one is responsible if this information gets lost as segregation of duties are unclear within the club. OHA is not a knowledge-driven organization. This has placed the club in a dangerous position as experienced committee members decided to leave the organization at the end of the year. There is no method to capture their knowledge and pass them on to the fellow members. As the boomer generation approach retirement, OHA faces a loss of knowledge on an unprecedented scale. Due to lack of coordination among members, players, coaches and other stakeholders, any issue or concern raised would take a significant amount of time to resolve. However, outcome is not always guaranteed as information can get lost in the process. Information is stored in personal computers and current online registration system is not synchronized between Hockey Tasmania and OHA, which make it difficult to retrieve relevant information. Therefore, the accuracy is questionable. There is no information backup system. Since all information is stored in personal computers, 
if a da data breach or some unforeseen event occurred all the data and information can get lost let's discuss about information management requirements of oha first and most importantly oha needs a database where they can store all the information of club including but not limited to players coaches committee members grounds umpires admin data etc this would facilitate personal information management proper document and record management system required by oha to store all the information in one place in an organized structure so that authorized club members can access easily to relevant information this would give authority to members and they would be responsible for creating deleting and altering information oha needs a method to capture store and share knowledge of senior members to educate existing and upcoming committee members so that the transition of club will be smooth when the senior committee members leave if oha can find a way to transfer knowledge most of their problems would solve automatically our focus of solution will be educating these members to share knowledge capturing tacit knowledge and passing the knowledge to the others oha needs to create a process to understand questions and problems of different stakeholders and relevant contact points needs to be identified in order to provide effective and efficient solution clubs information should be easily accessible for every stakeholders depending on their level of authority for this to work there has to be a good information retrieval system clubs information consist of personal information of players members coaches etc if a data breach occurred there can be some serious consequences oha has a proud history expanding over 100 years therefore backing up data is in and information is extremely important not only to preserve history but to pass that knowledge to future generations information security and privacy is an important requirement and this part would be discussed in detail by ken later in the presentation now let's dig into our recommendation our first recommendation is encouraging knowledge management practices in oha there are a number of ways that oha can do this advancement and development of technology has made knowledge management much easier all the members in oha should believe in club's value respect and commitment because organizational culture plays a significant role in knowledge management as it governs behavior of members organizational culture is linked with information culture even though there is no clear culture in oha we can try to create a culture where everyone is encouraged to share information and knowledge we recommend a relationship based culture information culture for oha community of practice should be encouraged within the club to accelerate knowledge capturing storing and sharing especially tacit knowledge community of practice would also enhance collaboration and coordination among committee members our second recommendation is centralized content management system centralized database will be a formal structured system where all data and information are located in one place members will be able to access the database whenever they require this is much more secure than what is existing in oha at the moment as we can add different layers of security to protect data and information firstly we will suggest oha to use notion a productive tool as a centralized content management system for the whole organization through the previous interviews we know that oha wants to find a better way to manage knowledge projects documents and collaboration all in one platform by using notion oha coffee club will be able to unify most of the organization work processes and knowledge just in that it's proved that organization intranet like notion can be more engaging and inspire greater participation than regular email communications we believe oha members may feel they have more of the voice when their postings and comments and everything are actively encouraged which finally promote social learning and knowledge sharing in the meantime there is no threshold of members in other words every member from top down president to junior players to volunteers can access notion everywhere anytime via smartphone laptop pc and even ipad
OHN is a club with 100 years history that not only has one team, two teams, five teams, but many teams. And keeping in touch with more than 400 committees and members means hours of phone calls, endless email threads, and social media messages. Have you ever felt exhausted when every single time you have to write meeting notes, notify all the club members change in schedule, and inform players of weather hits? Luckily, you now get Notion as a centralized solution for the club content management. It's all in one. With Notion, OHA committees can easily store and retrieve meeting notes, update member list, and share it with specific work group. Also, managing contracts won't be a headache as you don't need to go to OneDrive to spend one hour looking for an old contract. It's all clearly set up here. With the interview and tr- template, every ready to retire members can share their lifetime hockey knowledge and pass on to the next generation. Isn't that sounds awesome? For club members, Notion works as a centralized display board for game results and players' profiles. Remember, all the players could view coach availability and book in the training session. There are lots of other sections, such as discussion board, that could help OHA to establish a knowledge-driven sports club. Use Notion to put all your content and management in charge online. Anytime, anywhere, instantly. Secondly, we would suggest OHA to conduct an ongoing knowledge transfer mentoring program aiming at handing down the knowledge of certain roles of both volunteer committees and coaches. One size does not fit all. By that I mean, not all the knowledge can be transferred through a written blog or an interview stored on Notion. The fundamental problem with that in the way learning is decontextualized. We believe that tacit knowledge that resides in a professional's head and surfaces in response to certain situations can be exchanged effectively through one-on-one interaction between mentors and mentees who work side-by-side for a period of time. Specifically, for running the mentoring program in OHA, any volunteers who join the club for more than three months can apply for this mentoring program. The program can last for one month to three months depending on the teaching content, where knowledge is constructed from relevant contexts and hockey activities. By doing this, community of practice can also be established as the volunteers and senior members are sharing common interest, knowledge, and passion about hockey sports. Thank you, Fiona. In here, we have three steps in regarding information security. Firstly, we need to educate and cultivate all our committees dealing with sensitive data. Information security ensures not only the confidentiality and integrity of the information, but also the continuity of ability of both the information and supporting infrastructure. Committees are obligated to educate their team members by providing the corresponding policy, procedure, and punishment which they lack of those guidelines at the moment. Data is safe and secured in Notion, which is the reliable CMS by using the TLS protocol, AWS Cloud Child Subprocessor, and the permission group. TLS protocol increases the difficulty for the hacker to steal your data. Additionally, the feature in the permission group can customize permission levels for different collaborators to assess your workspace and provide a specific setting for each member, which can increase the data protection and security. And the second solution is the mentoring program which aims to ensure the organization learning within the association. Our information would not accidentally be leaking outside the hockey club and also prevent the data breach. We all know your data is extremely important. This is the reason why we need to back up our data. With the advancement of technology, people have converted paper-based records into electronic records, which can increase the security to protect data by set with a password or given to authorized person to access, and also to increase the efficiency and productivity to see and retrieve the information compared with paper-based system. Even with enough awareness, the data records can still be damaged or lost by the user mistake or system failure. The only way to prevent this situation is to implement the backup progress, which can decrease the possibility of data loss is an unpredictable situation. 
Also, the PDF format backup by Notion can benefit the person who is not able to access the electronic version. It might assist the hockey club to produce a win-win solution. The third step is only secretary or admin roles can gain access and perform the backup progress. It requires backup all the content at least every fortnight, so we can ensure the backup is reliable and the documents are up to date. So, what's our aims and goals on building up knowledge management system for OHA? Firstly, we want to capture the taxi knowledge and transfer the knowledge into an explicit form. Second, we want to improve OHA's information culture. As we all know, volunteers juggled multiple commitments, which can result in low, low retention rate. OHA do need to consistently provide valuable information and knowledge to all its committee and members through retaining people. Finally, we want OHA to become a knowledge-driven organization that makes better decisions and a beautiful future. Thank you. This is our presentation. We hope the recommendations and solutions we give can help OHA to build up a knowledge management system in the future.